will terrorize his enemies with individual homicides. He will send his assassins to kill important people of the time, usually with daggers, poison and darts. One of the first victims was the vizier Nizam al-Muk, exactly, the man who obliged his son to live in hiding before he conquered Alamut. We talk about him in Assassin's Creed Alamut Part 1, who founded the Assassin Order. Nizam al-Muk died on 40 October 1092. It is believed that the assassin approached him disguised in dervish dresses. One century later, the assassin order tried to kill Saladin. What happened? Saladin wanted to besiege the fortress of Masyaf. You have heard of this fortress in Assassin's Creed, have not you? Exactly. The fortress of Masyaf is Altar's home in the video game. The fortress belonged to the assassins since 1141 and Rashid ad Sinan himself fortified it. Yes, he would be Altar's mentor in the video game. Rashid was noticeably independent from the Zizari center in Alamut. Furthermore, some ancient documents ascribe him a semi-divine status. In the video game, Altar's father, Umari Mulahad, was executed in 1176 by Saladin forces because the assassin order sent him to his tent to leave him a message. In fact, he wants to dissuade the men from besieging Masyaf, the place where their hideout is. Altair, born on 11th January 1165, joined the order at the age of 11, immediately following the death of his father. The two ideas are inspired by events that probably occurred at that time. Indeed, many members of the Assassin Order were actually introduced into the sect at that age. On 22nd May 1176, Saladin led siege to Masyaf, but he lived it after two notable events that reputedly transpired between him and the old man of the mountain. According to one version, one night Saladin's god noticed a spark glowing down the hill of Masyaf and then vanishing among the Ayubid tents. Saladin awoke from his sleep to find a figure leaving the tent. He saw that the lamps were displaced and beside his bed had hot scones of the shape peculiar to the assassins, with a note at the top pinned by a poison dagger. The note fronted that he would be killed if he did not withdraw from his siege. Saladin gave a loud cry, exclaiming that Rashid himself was the figure that left the tent. As such, Saladin told his gods to come to an agreement with Rashid. Realizing he was unable to subdue the assassins, he sought to align himself with them, consequently depriving the crusaders of aligning themselves against him. Rashid's last notable act occurred in 1191, when he ordered the successful assassination of the newly elected king of Jerusalem, Conrad of Montferrat. Whether this happened in coordination with King Richard I of England, with Saladin, or with neither remains unknown. In 1193, Rashid brought a letter to Leopold V, Duke of Austria, at the request of Richard I, taking credit for the assassination of Conrad of Montferrat, of which Richard was being accused. However, this letter is believed by modern historians to be forgery written after Rashid's death. Rashid himself died in 1193 in Al Castle in Masyaf. This castle was built around 1120 by Saif al ibn Amrun and was sold to the Ismailis in 1138 by his son Musa. Though Rashid died there, he was buried in Salamiya. He was succeeded by the Persian Dai Abu Mansur ibn Muhammad or Nasir al Hajami, appointed from Alamut, which regained a closer supervision over the Assyrian branch of the Assassin Order. The brethren called each other Fidai, meaning trusted or faithful. Their execution to impress more were carried out in mosques, preferably on Friday, the holy day of Islam. The assassins were usually killed in the act. The serenity with which they let themselves be massacred made their contemporaries think that they were dragged with hashish. Hence the appellation of Hashishiyun or Hashashin, eaters of grass, Ides Hashish.
In fact, according to some theories, the word assassin actually means the one who is addicted to hashish. However, this image has no place in the reality of time. Hassan was an Oster Muslim, who certainly would not have allowed the use of drugs in his presence, let alone during a mission. His zeal is also demonstrated by the fact that he sent one of his sons to death just for getting drunk. Read the article on my blog, Gabriel that what press that can